it. Now we know chimps can formulate plans too, though at a much more basic level. Human planning is sophisticated, taking an umbrella in case it rains, evacuating cities ahead of a hurricane. We plan for the onset of winter. We even plan for old age. But we need proof under controlled conditions of how far apes can plan ahead. At Leipzig Zoo, an orangutan is about to take part in an experiment. The researchers offer a banana, but the orangutan can't reach it. Then they place a tool in her cage. The banana is part of her routine. The orangutan knows that the next morning she'll get another one. So what about the tool? She takes it with her when she goes to bed. As she prepares her nest for the night, she makes sure her tool is in a safe place. The next morning, 14 hours later, the orangutan brings the tool downstairs. She uses it to get the banana. She has planned ahead. This experiment proves definitively that apes can plan ahead, but it appears that 14 hours is about the limit. Apes can plan for the short term, but we humans can plan decades, even generations ahead. Our ability to plan ahead means we can shape our lives for generations to come. And how we do it is by creating a profusion of local customs and rituals. In the human world, each society has its own local customs. The traditions in one part of the world are distinct from those in another. The way we eat our food, what clothes we wear, how we greet people are all determined by where we grow up. Over time, our human societies have developed a wide variety of specific behaviours. It turns out that apes do the same. In Bosu in Guinea, chimpanzees pound the top of oil palm trees to extract the tasty bud. It's a unique behaviour. They only do it here. Nearly 300 kilometres away at Tai in the Ivory Coast, the chimpanzees are expert nutcrackers. Other chimpanzee communities have nuts and stones, but don't do this. In the Gualogo Triangle in the Republic of Congo, chimpanzees use heavy sticks to break open bees' nests for honey. It's not just that they use different tools in different places. Their social behavior varies too. In some communities, chimpanzees greet each other with a kiss. In others, they make a distinctive hand clasp as they groom each other. But how do we and the great apes learn these customs? Is there something unique about the way humans learn that separates us from apes? Our next experiment is about to show how apes learn something for the first time and create a new custom. Professor Tetsuru Matsuzawa is director of the Kyoto Primate Research Institute in Japan. He looks after a group of 15 chimpanzees. In this experiment, he sets up containers of honey with a hole too small for their fingers to reach. We did not teach anything at all. We did nothing. We just provide the opportunity. Before long, one of the chimpanzees devises a tool. Chimpanzee made a fishing uh, stick, making the tool by themselves. 
Matsuzawa and his team then watch to see if the others will learn from this one. Soon they all mimic the first chimp and use a tool. But what Matsuzawa has learned is that chimpanzees acquire their local customs in a very different way from humans. In chimpanzee communities, the adults don't actively teach the young. They don't slow down their actions to help an infant see what's happening. Well, the way of learning in chimpanzees are very unique. What I call education by master apprenticeship. So here is the master, here is apprentice. So the apprentice learn carefully watching for a long period. And then he may try by himself. The adults get on with it, the infants just watch. Eventually they start trying for themselves. They learn by trial and error. So far, researchers have counted more than 40 local traditions in chimp societies in the wild. We humans have thousands. Perhaps it's our different way of learning that accounts for the difference between us and the great apes. After all, we have a lot in common. Apes use tools, they plan ahead, share customs and create traditions. But they are still bashing stones and poking sticks. We surf the internet and send satellites into space. An amazing new experiment may hold the answer to the secret of our success. Humans and apes seem to share more similarities than differences. While their customs and traditions stay local, ours can spread right round the world. Somehow, primate societies do not develop as fast as ours. This is Lake Victoria in Uganda. And this is researcher Victoria Horner. She's developed a simple but brilliant experiment that could explain how we came to be the most successful species on the planet. Strangely, it's because there are some tasks we do worse than chimpanzees. It's very, very difficult in the field to actually see learning in action. And chimpanzees have only been studied scientifically in the wild for about 40 years. She uses two boxes to test whether the way we learn can explain our success. We present both chimpanzees and children with this box. This is a, the black box. And it's completely opaque. You can't see the inside of the box. You can't see how it works at all. And inside this, there is a food reward for chimpanzees or for human children. There's a little sticker. Horner demonstrates the long sequence of actions Jessica must use to get the reward. She reloads the box. It's now Jessica's turn to show she's learned what she's seen. She successfully picks up the complicated sequence of actions and gets her reward.